Let's trim some elderberries, shall we? So when I come out here in the winter time when it's cold, I like to first identify which uh, stocks I'm gonna keep and which I'm gonna discard. Uh, discarding is fairly easy. Anything that's, any of the older stocks, um, anything older than three to four years, I'm gonna discard. Um, looking at this bush, I can easily identify which ones are the older ones, the eldest, being uh, they're, they're darker um, in color. Um, this one here, as you can see, is a little bit lighter. This was from last year's growth. And this one's been around for, I'm going to say four years, uh, based on these, on how I've uh, trimmed these here. So this one's going to go. This one's going to go. And when I'm all done, and I'm, there's probably going to be about uh, seven to eight stalks that, that remain. Let's do it. You may or may not get whipped in the face. It's up to you. See, this guy here, he's an old one. airplane. You can tell how old he is in comparison to this one. This guy, last year's growth, this last season's growth, really thin, smooth. This guy here, really much thicker, probably four times in, uh, in di diameter. Um, skin, rough. When pruning my elderberries, I like to keep my, I like to trim these tops here to yay high so that when, once this new season's growth takes place, I can still reach the elderberries. All right, done trimming the berries. As you can see, we've got eight or nine branches or stems left here. Very thinned out compared to when we started. You can see, kind of see in the background, I still have that elderberry bush I need to um, complete. But I know this is a stark difference compared to when we started. Good news is it will all return and I'll be doing, I'll be back out here next winter doing the same thing. Um, Anyway, hopefully this helps. If you have comments, please leave them below. I'd um, love to see what you guys do, if there's anything different. Good luck.